Hi Oslo users, in this video I'm going to talk about the entrance pupil mode out of Oslo's ray aiming modes. So in the entrance pupil mode, rays are aimed at the paraxial entrance pupil. So initial directions are independent of tilting or decentering of the reference surface. I think it's easiest to see what this is doing by looking at an example. So this is a modified uh, lens for the demo triplet that comes with the program. What's been modified is I've slowed it down to an entrance beam radius that has uh, 2.5 which slows it down to f10. I believe the original is something like f4. I've also made the stop smaller and in the drawing uh, I've, I've made this so that all the beams look similar going through here. The other couple things that have been done is the lens drawing conditions include two configurations now one that shows three rays going through a number of different points from 0 to 1.0 in 0.2 increments for the fractional field coordinate and then there's a second configuration that's put in here that just so the configuration is saved when I save the lens it has a one nanometer shift in the image surface location and that of course does nothing this axial shift but I have to have that in there or it doesn't uh, remember this uh, configuration you have to have something in this zoom data mode anyway so the purpose of this configuration is just to look at the central rays so now let's take a look uh, at what the entrance pupil mode is so the entrance pupil mode is set here in the ray aiming mode that's under the general operating condition and what it does is it is basically saying okay Let's aim at the paraxial entrance pupil. So if my stop is at this location in the system, it need we need to figure out where its image would be going through the front two elements in the system. And it turns out this would be a virtual entrance pupil because the entrance pupil is back here to the right a little bit. A way to get an idea of where that entrance pupil would be is take a, a lower field angle like this. You can see this blue ray coming right here through the middle and if we trace it backwards wherever uh, back through the system without refracting it that where it crosses the axis will be where the paraxial entrance pupil is so in this mode what we're doing is we're assuming that the pra that we're, we're launching all the rays in at that paraxial entrance pupil regardless of any pupil aberration so what we're seeing here when we look you see many of the rays are not actually filling the stop correctly in how the light would go through the system and this is because we've launched at the entrance pupil versus uh, launching at the stop itself and iteratively trying to get all the rays correct so this is extremely fast because every ray is an ordinary ray and in particular I do want to highlight because the next mode is going to be the central reference ray I want to highlight these rays in the middle a little bit so we can look here and just zoom in and you can see that we have the farther out we go the more the pupil has been shifted longitudinally and this has the effect of shifting you uh, laterally upwards and downwards a little bit I'll talk about that in the next uh, video on the central reference ray mode which is the default in Oslo a little bit more I do want to spend just a moment to show you the second configuration because it's a little bit cleaner just to look at where the central or the rays that are in the center of the bundles are going for the full field of view this would be the chief ray sometimes people refer to these as as the chief ray going throughout uh, the field of view so you can see here this shows this shift uh, pretty clearly and it's a little bit cleaner. This is a nice little trick what I've done here with the drawing where you can always just pick if you only want to look at one ray out of a set of bundles. You can certainly set up a lens to do that. I hope you've enjoyed this video.